All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Let's talk NFTs. Let's talk My Little Pony Series 2. So remember, My Little Pony was a set that didn't do great in Series 1, and now we're getting a Series 2. I had to play a little bit. I had to play some packs just for fun of it. Um, I did like that the royalty was a metallic and I think a glow-in-the-dark to boot. Let's go kind of like together. But, um, you know, here it is. This is the video. Uh, a couple of little pack rolls, see what we get. Uh, and then we'll talk about it at the end. And um, was it a hit or was it not? Enjoy the pack roll, guys. Here we go. And here we go, guys. You can see My Little Pony. Uh, here are the redeemables. And a l small set. You know, I mean, look at that. Only 12 commons, 10 uncommons, 8 rares, and 7 epics. Not a big set at all. If you look here, here's a little uh, blurb about it. Um, and they, they even went lower number of packs, guys. Lower number of packs. 8,500, I think. So here we go. Let's open them up. Um, I'll be honest with you guys. My Little Pony was popular in the 80s. Maybe even a little of the 90s. I've never seen the popularity come back. Because I haven't seen the toys come back. You know. Here we get a little epic Fluttershy. Back-to-back uh, -back epics. Which epic's not really selling for big money. Uh, quite frankly. And there, that's a nice pack. Three epics. Even though one was a duplicate. In a pack. Standard. Not bad and what i did guys i basically said i'm going to spend 120 dollars on this and i think i bought six standard and uh two premium packs obviously the premium packs you get two extra cards there we got a rare there's applejack and i remember applejack um from years ago when my sister would play with these and honestly guys these were some incredible toys in the day they truly were some awesome toys um Back in the 80s, maybe even early 90s. And here we go. Let's open this pack. There we get another epic. There's a Pinkie Pie. Twilight Spark, which is... Both of those have been Funko Pops in the past. There is an Applejack, who I think is a legendary. Uh, two legendaries, one grail is what they are. And there is the um, royalty... But the royalty, I have no idea who that one is. But it, it's glow and metallic in one. And Twilight Sparkle, I think, has already been a Funko Pop and I think a semi-popular one. Um, this is there. We got our first legendary. There is Applejack. Applejack legendary. Only seventeen hundred of them. Uh, however, we'll get to how many packs were burned. And a Pinkie Pie epic. Not a very bad pack. Not a bad pack at all. And here we go again, My Little Pony Series 2 NFTs. And we open her up, a Princess Twilight Sparkle. Twilight Sparkle. Twilight Sparkle, my goodness. There is the Daybreaker. I think that's the Grail, Rainbow Dash. And there is your Series Coin. Eh. Fair. At best. And here we go. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um, and another common. Another common. Back-to-back -back identicals. A rare. Not bad. Another rare. Pinkie Pie. That's a cool one. And then we get an epic rainbow dash. So the key with it, guys, for your royalties, you got to have all the common, uncommon, rares, and epics. Epics will always be the most expensive. However, on this set, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Moving on, we got a Fluttershy common. Another common. Pinkie Pie common. Pinkie Pie common. Uh, Pinkie Pie uncommon. Rainbow Dash. And you're you noticing that there's not many different ones. You know what I mean? And we have our second legendary, Princess Twilight Sparkle Legendary. Number 604 out of 1700. And honestly, guys, the legendary is not going for big money. Uh, as of making this video, I think they're like 20 to 25 bucks. 
not expensive at all. And you think when they come in, in Funko Pop form, it's probably they're going to go for more than that. So if you want to hop on Atomic, you want to hop on Drop and buy them, um, those are your two options uh, of places to, uh, to buy them. And I would honestly compare prices, just saying. If you're going to look for uncommons, commons, and rares, go to Atomic Hub because there you can find them for pennies. The problem with uh, the drop marketplace is the lowest price you can put on something is five cents. Keep that one in mind too. It may be easier to buy, but you can probably buy four cards for what you're going to buy one card for on, um, on Atomic. So just keep that one in mind. That is a difference. But I would definitely price out your epics and legendaries if that's what you're going to do between um, Drop Marketplace and Atomic Hub. As we sit there looking at the Daybreaker, which I believe is the Grail. However, this is just a common Daybreaker. And we move on. There you can sort of see two legendaries, 81.0% of the set. So we are doing, uh, you know, rather well when you consider. Uh, there we have duplicates. Obviously, I will probably get rid of all the duplicates. And six out of seven epics is epic. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this quick pack roll. We also hit the legendary uh, Applejack and Princess Sparkle. But we did miss the Grail, unfortunately. And here we go. The sale closed at 3 p.m. Pacific. Obviously, that's 6 in the east. So it only stayed open for about four hours. And if you look at it, well, it didn't do good, guys. Uh, 4,505 standard packs burned. 3,018 premium packs burned out of only 8,500 packs each. It was absolutely a bomb. Uh, did not do well. Will they do good on the aftermarket? Eh, I don't know. But uh, a lot of packs were burned. A tremendous amount of packs when you think about this. Um, and it just goes to show. I mean, there's certain genres that people are not interested in in this day and age. And unfortunately, as great as My Little Pony was in the 80s uh, and maybe mid early 90s, it is not what they are today. There's no great toys so honestly, as far as Funko NFTs, guys, this one, one of probably the worst ever done. I hate to say it, but it's true. <laughs>